Hello, hello and welcome to Civil Summer. This is the part 3 of 10 basic civil engineering short notes and we have to complete our target of 500 short notes. So let's start part 3. Twenty-one. Stripping time of form of reduces forty percent for the use of rapid hardening cement. So, what is form of? Form of basically this is a temporary structures and it supports the mold of fresh concrete and able to support the weight of fresh concrete. Basically, form of gives the desired shape to the concrete and the form of mainly made of timber and steel. Now let's discuss about a little bit more about the form of. Basically, form of is a combination of two part. One is shattering. Another one is centering. So what is shattering? Shattering is the temporary mold which holds the first concrete and it is 23 to 25% expenditure of the total structure. Centering, which is not in contact with the structure and it was to support the shattering. The definition of the centering is centering is a temporary structure and a part of form of which is arranged to support the horizontal member. Number 22. Kitchen floor area should not be less than 5 meter square. So this is an important point and we need to remember this one. So when we are designing a residential building and making a floor plan, we should not make the kitchen floor area less than 5 meter square. Let's discuss a little bit more about the kitchen plan. First thing we need to remember that kitchen should be very next to the dining room and the well ventilation should be provided and design should be based on the sunlight and consider the wind direction also. The floor plan not less than 5 meter square we have discussed already and the minimum width of the kitchen should not be less than 1.5 meter and the door size 3 feet by 7 feet that will be perfect. Number 23. The height of a storing cement bag should not be more than 10 bags height. The weight of the cement bag that can mix the lumps inside the cement bag if it is more than the 10 bags height. So there is a specification according to the IGS 408 to 1996. The width of the stack should not be more than the 4 bags length or the 3 meter and 600 minimum space between the exterior wall and the stack and the 15 centimeter to 20 centimeter clear space from the ground should be there. 24. For the ordinary Portland cement, the curing period is 7 to 14 days. So what is curing? Basically curing it is the process of maintaining the moisture of freshly placed concrete to complete the hydration process and to ensure proper hardening attaining desirable strength and durability. Number 25. For the pre-tensioned member M40 grade of concrete is used. Here the pre-tensioning and post-tensioning is the part of PSC pre-stressed concrete and for the pre-tensioning M40 grade of concrete used and for the post-tensioning M30 grade of concrete used. Number 26. If the slenderness ratio is less than 3, it is called as pedestal. So what is slenderness ratio? Slenderness ratio is equal to effective length divided by least to lateral dimension. So we need to consider effective length not the direct length. Slenderness ratio is denoted by lambda. If the lambda is less than 3, then it is called pedestal. And if it is less than 12, that is the short column. And if it is greater than or equal to 12, then it is a long column. So basically what is the pedestal? Pedestal is a compression member and it is used where the column loads is very high. So to support the column load, one more structure is required below the column that is called the pedestal. Pedestals basically provide to transfer the load safely from the column to the footing. Now they discuss about what is the short column. When the slenderness ratio is less than 12, then it is called a short column and short column basically fails due to the under the ultimate compressive load by crushing. And when the lambda value greater than 12, then it is called as a long column. And long columns fail due to the large lateral deflection or buckling under the compressive loads. Number 27. According to IRC 37 specification, width of a single lane road is 3.75 meter. IRC means the Indian Road Congress. So according to the IRC 37, there is a table of type of carriageway and their width in meter. So if it is a single lane, then the width will be 3.75 meter. So two lane, no curves, that is 7 meter. Two lane, raised curve, 7.5 meter. And intermediate carriageway, 5.5 meter. And multi lane, 3.5 meter per lane. So this is important table you need to remember. Number 28. Generally, that foundation is used for the black cotton soil. 
The foundation is a combined footing that covers the entire area beneath the structures and support all the walls and columns. And to reduce the differential settlement, we need to provide the rep foundation. Basically, rep foundation is used when the isolated footing area exceeds the 50% of the total area, then rep foundation is preferred. If the site has a black cotton soil, then we need to provide the rep foundation. So why the black cotton soil is so dangerous? Black cotton soil is basically black in color and best for the cotton crop. This is one type of residual soil. It has a highly swelling and sinkage property and it is highly compressible and low bearing capacities there. So that's why the differential settlement problems occur in our site. So to avoid the differential settlement, so we need to provide the wrapped foundation. And who is the responsible for the swelling and sinkage and the high compressibility and the low compressibility? Montemorillonite mineral is the responsible for the swelling and the sinkage properties. If I discuss about the Montemorillonite mineral, so in that Montemorillonite mineral, water bond present inside the molecular structure. So the water bond is the weakest bond and that gets easily break down. That's why the swelling and the shrinkage property is very high. 29. Lithification is the process by which unconsolidated material are converted into coherent solid rock by compaction and cementation. The lithification means from the ancient Greek word lithos means rock and the Latinized suffix effect is the process in which the sediments compact under pressure, expel connot water and gradually become solid rock. So what is the connot water? It is a liquid that were trapped into the pores of sedimentary rock as they were deposited. This liquid is largely composed of water but also contains many minerals components as ions in solution. As rocks are buried, they undergo lithification and the connot fluids are usually expelled. So in this lithification process, the unconsolidated materials are converted into the solid rocks by compaction and cementation process. Number 30. The dryer in a wild fence should not be more than 10% by volume. So dryer is a major component of fence and dryers also known as the plasticizers. Plasticizer means a substance is typically a solvent added to the synthetic resin to produce or promote the plasticity and flexibility and to reduce the brittleness. Dryer chemically added to the paint and the main function of the dryer is to accelerate the drying of a vehicle's lens while in a paint and in the consequence of paint film becomes hard. So that's all about the part 310 basic civil engineering short notes. We have to complete our target of 500 basic civil engineering short notes. Stay with the civil summer, like, share and subscribe and don't forget to comment below. So that's all about the part 3. See you in part number 4. Thank you for joining with Civil Summer.